And uh, yeah, here we go. It's time for another another demo. Today's going to be fun because I want to show you two things. First of all, the instrument that I'm holding right now. And then we're going to talk about this cabinet right here that just arrived from Bergantino, the HDN 410 Neo Cab. It's a 4 ohm 800 watt cabinet that is an absolute beast, no question about it. <laughs> First of all, let's take a look at the specs of this instrument that I'm holding right now. This is my Gamma, my Purple Gamma Jazz Bass. I believe technically the model is called the J17. And this was a real cool collaboration build that the folks at Gamma and my friends at Hipshot and EMG collaborated on. The pickups are the EMG X uh, J pickups with the um, two band stacked bass treble preamp. Controls are volume, volume, stacked bass, and stacked treble. Then the hardware is the Hipshot kick ass bridge and ultralight tuners with the drop D extender so we can, we can go from drop her down to D. So the ultralight tuners in the drop D are really nice. They take a little weight off the headstock and um, they're the vintage style. You know, they're still the um, the traditional looking Fender style tuners, but they're the ultralights and um, they reduce weight. And just having that drop D is super cool. The kick-ass model bridge is, you know, um, along the lines of a new and improved badass type with brass saddles. And it's a really, really, um, it's got a big footprint, a big low footprint, a big low high mass footprint. And um, it's got a nice, dense, tight sound without any slip, lift, flop, click, you know. Um, really nice, um, sturdy and stiff bridge. So when you want to get to playing with the uh, heavy, heavy handed techniques, like playing with a pick, for example. Stability when you're really getting after it with the pick and that kind of dark, deep um, 
intense kind of sound is really nice. You know what I'm saying? It's really, it's not like a traditional, um, uh, authentic vintage jazz bass sound. It's like a modern punchy, um, you know, just super, super deep and, um, a little bit on the dark side kind of influence that the that the high mass bridge brings of course the emg pickups sound like emg pickups and i love the way emg pickups sound especially in front of house when i see someone up there playing a bass and it's got emg pickups in it 9.9 99.9 percent .9, .9 of the time they're getting a killer sound out of front of house that's a fact jet <laughs> It has a, um, a nice uh, vintage tinted maple neck with a maple fingerboard. It's black bound with uh, black um, block inlays. And this killer, it's just a killer color. This I think he calls it imperial purple metallic. And what a badass purple color it is. And then a really nice um, vintage 60s style tort. It's not the pepperoni tort. It's the... It's the orange and brown and yellow one that um, that I like so much. Here's just the front pickup. controls are set completely flat and now here's just the back pickup <laughs> sound like EMG pickups and I like that sound it works for me because of my technique I have a heavy hand right hand and I like to dig in they don't clip out they don't mash out I don't get any um, you know um, pull pop I call it where I, when I start digging in and I grind the strings down across the top of the pickups it you know mashes across the poles and sends all these pops and spikes through the rig they don't do that you know what I mean here I am I'm pushing the pickup onto the onto the pickup and it's just making that scratchy sound it doesn't go cack, 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 cack. so that's the benefit of a close pull pickup an active close pull pickup that's one of the benefits um you know everybody has different tastes and and so do i i mean I, a lot of my bases have nordstrand pickups in it which sound fantastic it's a much more open neutral transparent and um an honest sound you know what i mean it sounds just like the wood and the strings and the hardware louder these pickups are influential they're a little bit scooped out. They have a nice sizzly top and a big, huge, fat, active bottom. So I love this bass. It turned out fantastic. And, and, and I, the only thing that I've done to it since Gamma sent it to me is I just 
relic to the back of the neck. I sanded all the all the shiny lacquer off of it, and I did some aging to it, and I put some wax on it. Uh, I like the feel. I don't like the feel of a brand new uh, base. It feels like it's got like a candy coating on it, you know, and and, and it can't breathe. Um, you know, I like the left hand to feel like it's an old, worn-out slipper. That's just what I like. Um, now, we got to talk about this cabinet a little bit and the head, the Forte head. It's 4 ohms, and I think it weighs 57. Pretty sure it weighs 57 pounds. It's not very bad. I, I could really easily pick it up. No problem. I had no problem getting, bringing it up the stairs, and, and um, you know, it's, it's just fantastic. It has this cool off off-center um, way that the speakers are arrayed in there. It makes it a little bit taller and a little bit um, thinner and a little bit taller, which is really, really nice. And the high-frequency driver is up here on the top. Of course, it, it has these two ported sections, and then it has an attenuator on the back to control the amount of high-end that you want. Right now, it is set right up in the middle, straight up and down. And... Um, the head, the Forte head, just it's a fantastic sounding head. One of my favorite features about the Forte head is that it has the variable ratio race, variable ratio compressor control, which I run at about 75%. I love it. It's fantastic for me. slapping and really digging in it takes that little bit of um, you know super transient stuff off the top smooths it out chubs up the low end the bottom and just gives it a really nice cozy limiting effect that's that you don't even really hear you know what i mean it's not like a squashing type of compression it's like a really smooth limiting to my ears anyways so i'm really really happy and i can't wait to take this uh 410 cabinet out on a gig this weekend. I have it barely, I mean, barely turned on. I can't turn it up loud in this environment making a video because it will just clip out the microphone and be completely counterproductive. But as you can see, the sound, the tone is fantastic. Um, and with this bass, this bass just sounds great for, for what it is, a jazz bass with active pickups in it. We'll do more demos here real soon where we try it with some passive pickups some basses with like Nordstrand pickups in it. And we'll try it with something with Bartolini pickups in it, active and passive. We'll try it with fretted, we'll try it with fretless, we'll try it with five string, and um, really let you hear it in all those different types of application. But I can tell right off the bat, I've been using the HDN 210 and the HDN 212 for several months now, and they're absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really happy to be working with Bergantino and into the future we're going to be doing a lot more stuff we've come to a, a place where we've made plans to basically cycle all of the Bergantino uh, gear through the daily funk club and I'm going to do demos with it all uh, all throughout you know the future you know what I mean into into and throughout all next year um, every month or so I'll get a different piece of Bergantino gear a different cab and we'll check it out and I'll take it out on gigs and then I'll give you my honest impressions of it like I do with everything. So I'm really happy to be working with Bergantino. And always I'm really happy to help support um, Gamma because they're a cool up and coming brand. And um, I've seen and witnessed a lot of improvement in their products over the last couple of years. And I'm happy to be friends with Joey and, um, and help him in any way I can. This instrument is truly one of my favorites and it's, it, and it, you know, I don't even need to say that. You heard it, you know what I'm saying? It is a great bass. And, um, you know, the, the paint job is, is one of the coolest paint jobs I've ever seen on a base. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all the videos. We'll see you next time. All right, friends. Peace.